Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. When the United States, Japan, the Netherlands, and China also played the main card, the existence of quantum chips was already confirmed. Now the US semiconductor industry, like China's semiconductors, relies on its own research and development of high-end integrated circuits, rather than relying on TSMC, Samsung and other Asian manufacturers to complete chip production. However, the United States still has an advantage in this regard. Their technology system has a great impact on the chip industry, and almost every American company is involved. However, the emergence of Chinese companies has made them lose their ability to compete. In order to achieve complete containment, the US government also urged Japan and the Netherlands to implement a new round of semiconductor controls, and the three companies have basically reached a consensus. At this juncture, China finally came up with its own trump card. What kind of signal will a quantum integrated circuit production line send? China has already played its trump card. In the semiconductor industry, European and American companies have been in the semiconductor industry for nearly 50 years and have accumulated profound basic knowledge and a large number of patents. Few people can surpass them in this aspect. After Huawei developed a complete chip supply chain, it also realized that this was not an easy task. They now have two steps. The first step is to get in touch with China's high-end industrial chain and join the silicon-based industry. Based production system. Second, we must achieve catch-up around the corner and strive to make new breakthroughs in the fields of chip stacking technology, photonic chips and superconducting quantum chips, obtain a number of important invention patents and lead the research and development of topics. If you want to start developing this new product, you must first break through the limitations of photolithography equipment. If you add two wafers to the mass production of 14 nanometers, the production capacity can reach at least 7 nanometers or more, and all of this depends on deep ultraviolet light. Moment. So the United States has been exerting pressure on the Netherlands and Japan. ASML, Nikon, Canon, etc. all have close relations with China and have always provided proven process equipment. Therefore, from the perspective of the United States, if the three major manufacturers stop supplying, the development of the industry can be avoided, but they still underestimate China. Semiconductor Industry According to previous predictions by industry insiders, Processes below 1 nanometer can support the upper limit of Moore's law, which means that if the semiconductor industry does not make new breakthroughs, it will face the fate of being abandoned by the times, but China is the first country to break through this bottleneck. Some time ago, news about quantum chips caused a turmoil on the internet, which also caused misunderstandings among many Chinese people. It was later characterized as untrue. Until January 31st this year, CCTV reported on Hefe No. 1 after conducting an on-site inspection at a quantum chip production base. It gave the outside world a resounding slap in the face. Since January this year, this production line has been officially put into use. The final Wukong quantum chip has been mass-produced and is undergoing testing. The most powerful electronic computer in China has been launched. How did this become industrialized? So far, all 24 production equipment have been put into use, and more than 1,500 batches of mass-produced products have officially entered the export stage. The annual production capacity is expected to reach hundreds or thousands of pieces. The most important point is the QEDA, originated from Kuanyuan. It is an independently developed quantum chip. 
In the quantum chip aspect, it will get rid of dependence on international EDA software and realize superconducting and semiconductor technologies. Automatic design of electronic circuits for ISO quantum chips. Most people may not know it, but there are definitely many people who don't know it. If it is converted into a computing function, its computing speed will be increased millions of times, and it has broad application prospects in medicine, communications and other fields. It is also the mainstream of future technological development. With the emergence of the Wukong quantum chip, China has also conducted completely independent research in this area, and its computing power is also at the forefront of the world. This research will create a new situation and play a decisive role in some major science and technology. Role However, quantum research has just begun and Chinese researchers cannot be complacent. After all, this is just the beginning. We will have to find a way to keep the entire industry innovating, and some companies will even invest. Speed up research. The advent of the Wukong quantum computer is certainly a big event, but it is obvious that it is not absolutely safe. It must be continuously popularized and more high-tech companies must join in to establish a strong industrial system. It can do a hundred harms without any harm. Although the current quantum computing technology is still in its infancy and has not yet achieved efficient calculation and analysis, there are still many problems that need to be solved urgently regarding key technical issues such as quantum entanglement and quantum interference, especially the design and implementation of quantum algorithms. In addition, I heard that the production and maintenance costs of such a thing are very high, not only requiring huge research funds, but also huge personnel investment. In industries with fierce international competition, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and driverless driving, quantum chips will play a vital role. In general, quantum chips will become a very promising development trend in future computer research but there are also certain technical difficulties. We must continue to invest research funds and personnel into further improving quantum computer technology so that it can be better applied to more fields and thereby increase our productivity. What do you think about this matter? Thank you for watching this video.